I bid you welcome in all ways and in all days with a similar essence which is one to project truth which is one to uphold the honor of all individual seekers of truth and to promote that which would be discovery discovery of the new within you discovery of that which is new in and within the planet so that you will come to understand your home in a better way so that you will not think of it as a rock upon which you are marooned as the island to which you have been cast away or even as that which you must in some way protect or defend or save the earth that which is the planet the physical planet is well now as it has always been for it is guided by forces just as you are forces that are both natural and what you would consider supernatural or those that are simply beyond earth or beyond your understanding you are also protected in such a way meaning that you are infinite and that you are eternal and that even if you were to surrender a body or a part of your body that which is infinitely you would continue to be for that which is always is and that which is in essence or caused by and for the purposes of the divine always are and continue to be in a form of their choosing or one that is caused by a greater evolution by desire by intent by the forces that promote and propel and so the earth is no different now we turn to the subject of the sounds the vibrations that are heard that are felt emanating from the earth in many different parts of the globe so it is far in time to attend to these now by this message we will give you to understand what is taking place and the explanation will suffice but only in so much for to the human mind it is not enough of an explanation explain the science behind it explain how it has been or why it has been or what are the effects that will take place it is better to give you an understanding for in the same way that you could not predict for yourself what you might look like or feel like in ten years in some ways it is the same for the earth however there is the part of you that you consider you and that part can in fact predict based upon what you are and what your desires are that you will continue to be and continue to seek those things that are important to you so it is the same with the earth now regarding the sound vibrations first it will be said that those that are natural have always been natural have always been sounding their frequencies so what is more important to note here is that many have not been able to perceive these and now they can so what is new is not the earth's ability to make or to produce these sounds what is newer is humanity's ability to perceive these to hear these upon the physical now there are reasons for this as well the explanation goes something like this the earth continues to increase its vibration to increase its vibration increases the speed of all things imagine for a moment an aeroplane traveling through the air above you quietly so you hear nothing because you hear nothing you do not bother to look up now passes an aeroplane at supersonic speed so the speed has changed which then increases the sound the vibration of that which is traveling through the air causing you to look up and to take notice and perhaps even to be surprised or shocked or frightened by what you see or hear that was not there before so it is the same with the sounds they were there they have been part of what the earth produces the product of the earth if you like 
The vibration of the earth accelerating is what is heard in these natural moments. That vibration begins centrifugally in the center of the earth, working or winding its way outward. When it encounters that which is thicker or more dense, those same quicker, faster, higher vibrations must pass through those dense areas as well. And when they do, as they do, they create a vibration that is not as pure, not as invisible, and so it becomes part of the auditory range. Sounds that are more dense, that travel more slowly, are heard by humanity more easily. Now it is time to say as well that not all of the sounds produced or that are in audible recording now being transmitted round the globe by your various recording mechanisms, not all of these are in fact earth-made nor natural. To put it bluntly, some, in fact several, if not many of these, are man-made for purposes by which you would need to ask yourself or others of humankind. For there is always the task or the folly to deceive, particularly this year, particularly this year and at this time, for you already well know that it is both the end and the beginning and in its own way a midpoint, a midpoint by which you will decide or cause yourself to travel by your own vibrations, at your own speed of light, at the level by which you are guided by your own consciousness and your own inner being. And that will cause you to receive truth by a certain degree or by certain teachers. It will cause you to place yourself here and there by which you will have your own experiences and your own perceptions accelerated. Knowing this, you must know that the opposite is then also true. For the law of opposites is also always in operations, for in its own way it is a natural law. If there is sun, then there is the moon to be guided by as well. Where there is light, there is dark, and like that. The law of opposites very naturally then will bring to you both something new to consider, something old to revisit, something new to marvel and wonder at, something old to fear or to reconsider. In this way then, when you are awarded such experiences, regardless of how they are come by, take them into your being carefully. Take them into your mind to consider. Take them into your heart to consider. Hold them there. Savor them for a minute before you swallow them whole, as they would say. Now how will you know the difference? After all, this is rather new to you. How will you know what is Gaia made? How will you know what has been reproduced, either in trickery or folly, or simply to study it, or for amusement, or what you would call it? Take a moment to hear, listen, and feel the sounds themselves. Are they sounds or are they vibrations? For there is a difference. A vibration will move through you as well. A sound will touch your auditory senses, your five physical senses. But only a true vibration, an emanation, will move through your being. That is why I say to you, hold it, savor it, see what it feels like within your being. Do you receive it as cause or as effect? Does it seem to be as natural causes or at the effect. Here it is no different than a bit of forensics, if you like. Did an emanation come about by natural causes or influenced in some man-made or technological way? Do not yet find yourself getting stuck in who would do such a thing or why they would. The answers to some of this is rather obvious and some of it you may consider later. Those essences, those vibrations that are created by the earth then have been present upon the earth, but they have accelerated now. And because they have accelerated, the motion of the earth itself then promotes these and amplifies them. Your own acceleration then 
assists the process and allows for you to hear them at certain times. You do not need to find yourself in the middle of a forest or a desert in order to receive these vibrations in the quietude of your own home or your own ambience. You may find that you relate to these vibrations. If they feel essential to you, you may take them into your own being. You see, they can be replicated in more than one way, not only so that they are reproduced for the auditory senses. The quickening, as you may wish to call it, can be replicated within your own being, so that from within your own core, there is a vibration that matches that of the earth, accelerates along with the earth, and promotes change in variations along with the earth. If you choose to do this then, it may very well be to your betterment, but better it is that you do not fear it. For indeed they are the vibrations that bring and encourage and call upon change at a higher order, at a higher level, and at a more accelerated pace. So if you will take them into your own being, well, know that there may be a bit of quaking, a bit of shaking, a bit more movement, and yes, more acceleration in all areas. For you cannot say to this vibration, I will accelerate in this way, but not in that way. I will take it for my physical health, but not for my mental health. For it is the goal of such acceleration to make of one a well-rounded or spherical being, an essential being. The sounds, then, are part of your life now. The vibrations, these vibrations, the natural ones are a part of your life now. Take a moment the scheme of photography. A short time ago you did not know what it would be to capture an orb as you call them, in your photographs. Now the digital environments has made these appear, has made them visible. What was already there becomes visible. Not a trick of light, though these two have been enhanced, if you like, but that which has always been present and now reveals itself. So you see, the earth reveals itself to you in many different ways, and you are able to perceive it, at many different ways. Now, for a moment, allow yourself to consider that if indeed this is possible and even probable, so that now your auditory senses and your vibrations have accelerated to the point where you can feel a vibrational match with the earth, and you are able to perceive in your own way variances in light and the structure of light and how light travels as well. Now you have light and sound, two very key components, ones that go together very, very well. So acceleration and vibration together. This calls then, if you like, for a celebration that you may approve of. At the same time, take care, for as I have said to you, a goodly, 50% of what has been promoted to you as true and natural is not. Some imitations and poor ones at that. Other replications duplicated and offered to you in a different cinematography, if you like, or with a simple different background substituted for you. And there at the amusement of others, you will sit and say, look what the earth is doing or saying or speaking. Know that you can always commune with the earth, always commune with Gaia, that you need not place yourself out of doors or indoors or meditative or contemplative. Yet all of these movements then have a restorative path and they also then, if you like, are a quicker path to what you wish or what you wish to know or what you wish to receive, be it healing or the answer to a simple question or a riddle that you have not been able to solve for yourself. In fact, the earth does have the solution to its problems, the answers to its questions, and even that which would make you smile at the simple solution that most riddles have. So it is a time to be guided then by what you see, by what you hear, but do not count upon that, do not wait for that. 
Do not wait for science to confirm to you, yes, that is a natural sound, and we can prove its emanation or its beginning point. Do not wait for that which is too late, and by too late it is only to say that your own awareness is slowed in the process. When you depend upon another to confirm or to deny, you slow your own process. You say to yourself, there is a part of you that does not know enough and that someone else knows more than you do. It is well to accord others their expertise in certain areas, but come now. You are all human. You have all had many, many lifetimes, and there is a good amount of wisdom that guides you, an inner wisdom and an inner truth that cannot be denied unless, of course, you deny it and accord it to others and not to you. Indeed, it is the earth that has no need to break a silence, for the earth has never been a silent place, not within and not without. Remember this. If out of doors or upon the earth there is a great deal of activity in its own way, the inner chambers of the earth are also not silent. Why would they be? Why need they be? At the same time, they do not have the use of language or speech as you do, which is unnecessary at the deeper or the more profound levels, just as they are unnecessary for you. When you find yourself in the profundity of your own beings, words are at a loss. They are no longer necessary. Within the earth, the same is true. However, vibrations, emanations, exaltations of that which increases consciousness, moves it, shifts it, well then, that is almost inevitable and quite desirable. So perhaps you will wish to summon the same with you. Do not fear the earth, and do not fear the changes that the earth brings, not those which it brings to itself and not those which it brings to you. For cycles within cycles are at work as they always have been, and change, well, that indeed is the course that the earth steers quite well. It changes and exchanges vibrations and thoughts and species and ideas and goals and understandings. So set aside beliefs and disbeliefs. And if you can, set aside those things that must be explained. At times it is better to understand them or understand the kind of changes that are present without having an explanation that is so valid a child could understand this, and a child would not question it. Ah, but the adult mind. And prove this and prove the other. So be it, sweet ones. Prove it to yourself, then. Prove to yourself those things that are alive within you. Prove to yourself where consciousness lives within you or without, or why you seek the things that you do. You will find that the proof is only in the experience as it has always been. So seek and find, and seek and find and discover, and then know. I bid you good day.